Hi, welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 3. This tutorial is going to be on Proposition 1 of Book 3, which gives us the methods used to find the center of any given circle. So first we have our circle, and we draw any line, we will call it AB, through the circle, bisect this line at point D. Next, we will draw a line perpendicular to AB through the point D and label that line CE. And finally, we bisect the line CE and label the point F. F is the center of the circle. Now to prove that F is the center of the circle, we are going to use the method of contradiction, which means we are going to assume some other point is the center of the circle and show that this leads to a contradiction. So let's assume that G is our center of the circle and draw the line AG and GB. Now, since AG and GB are theoretically the radii of a circle, they would both be equal in length. Similarly, AD and DB are equal since we bisected the line. So they are equal by definition. And DG is common to both triangles. So we have two triangles with three sides that are equal. According to Proposition 1.8, in this instance, when we have side, 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 of two triangles being equal, everything is equal, including the angles. In other words, alpha is equal to beta. Again, by definition, if we have a straight line with another straight line on it making two angles, in this case alpha and beta, if alpha and beta are equal, then it is, by definition, a right angle. So we have alpha and beta are equal to right angles. But we've already defined FDA as a right angle because we constructed it that way, and I will call that angle gamma. Well, it's clear that gamma, or A, D, F, is less than alpha, which is A, D, G. But they're both right angles. So we have alpha is greater than gamma, and alpha is equal to gamma, which is a contradiction. So therefore, G is not the center of the circle. We can choose any point that is not on the line CE, and use the same logic to show that it cannot be the center of the circle. By the same token, if it's on the line CE, then it has to be point F because FC and FE must be equal. So there we have it. That is how you find the center of any given circle. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.